Diastasis rectus abdominis is a separation or a spreading of the main muscles of your core. So the rectus abdominis muscles are your main muscles of the abdomen and they run parallel to each other. There's a thin connective tissue in between those two muscles known as the linea alba. And oftentimes when women become pregnant, um, especially within the second and third trimester, there's such a quick expanding of this abdominal space. So in order to accommodate the growing fetus, um, the linea alba stretches and moves in order to accommodate this growth. And oftentimes it creates that space in between those two muscles can often happen in men as well who are doing heavy weightlifting and who are experiencing a rapid weight loss or weight gain. Oftentimes in diastasis rectus abdominis, we as the practitioners want to know exactly how large the space is in between the two muscles. So we'll use our fingers. Sometimes we'll you know, use two fingers or three fingers and we'll place it in between the rectus abdominis to see the approximate width of the space in between the two muscles. And that gives us a good idea of, of how severe the diastasis rectus abdominis is. Um, and so with this information, we can treat and see how patients are able to improve. It's very important that you get into the office as soon as you can to try to work on um, core muscle exercises to try to strengthen the area. Um, and if not, um, you know, if there's no, no help with some of those exercises, sometimes we will recommend surgical options. So having diastasis rectus abdominis can definitely lead to pelvic floor dysfunction. Um, and that is because the fact that oftentimes your body will try to compensate for the weakness of your core. If your core is weak, then oftentimes you'll get pain within your pubic bone, um, sometimes within your hips. It can really cause sheer forces, biomechanical forces, uh, you know, along the lower portion of your body. So you have to really be careful and try to get in um, as soon as you possibly can, if you, if you suspect that you have diastasis recti, or if you're not sure, come in and we'll evaluate you and, and give you a, a diagnosis and work with you.